Come on, it's Chloe Carr with two R's and purple hair, looking like a grape soda shorty. You already know, you already know, you know what I'm talking about. Why, yay, come on, oh, yay, 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 hey. When I pull up, pull up, nobody can cross when I pull up, pull up. Chain swing when I pull up, pull up. Hotline bling then I pull up, pull up. Nizzy, Nizzy, baby, see me pull up, pull up. Nobody can cross when I pull up, pull up. Chain swing when I pull up, pull up. Hotline bling when I pull up, pull up. Okay, girls, I got you. If you want to get this hair color, I'm going to tell you everything you need to know. First off, I got this wig off AliExpress. This was my first time ever buying a wig that was already made it's 20 inches one thing that i proper liked about it is that it's really thick i think it was like 180 density and i am so shocked how thick and full the wig was they even gave me a comb a big fat wide tooth comb they gave me eyelashes and hairbands with it i was like why chase the lace is super good I really like the fact that it has bands and combs so it keeps your hair secure. So let's get into dyeing. Okay, we're going to be using Violet Gem and Purple Rays in a door hair dye. So I'm going in with the Violet Gem and then I'm going in with the Purple Rage. I want to give you guys a test though because blonde hair is super expensive. I need to test this and get the right colour. And I got my plastic fork because I don't have the right dye hair dyeing equipment i'm putting in some hot water but i'm not gonna go overboard like how everyone always puts in like lots and lots of water when you put in more water it would mean you would need more bottles of hair dye because you're basically diluting the color so i'm only gonna put in a little bit of hot water i put in some conditioner as well i'm gonna mix it all together to make sure the color and the conditioner dissolves into the water and then we're gonna do a tester and surprisingly, shockingly, I got the colour the first time. So I'm literally going to do this method all the time in this order because it's just way better. And look at the colour, so vibrant. So I went in with the rest of the hair. Obviously, it's a wig and it's already made. So I'm starting with the back of the hair. And this is from the back. Some of the hair is still blonde, but I'm just pouring the excess water onto the hair. And we're going to repeat the same process. Going in with the Violet Gem, a few drops of Purple Rage and some conditioner. And just mixing it all together. This is literally art and painting, so that's why I feel like I'm just good at it. A tiny bit of water, as I said. You don't need so much water. Mix it thoroughly all together. Keep on stirring it. And you go in with your bundles. I just kind of moved the hair around in the bowl. I didn't let it sit in there, I just moved it around and yes, look, I love the fact that there's like light pink parts so it makes it look all nice and highlighted. I love it, oh my gosh. Yeah, I'm going with my plastic fork again because I told you guys I don't have the comb. And yeah, the plastic, work, the plastic fork works just as good as the comb, if not better, because I feel like that's what gives it highlights. Oh yeah, then I had to bring my, um, <laughs> my paint brush. So basically, I actually miss painting. I think I miss art a little bit. Haven't done it in a while, so that's why I just have my paintbrush right now, just painting it. I'm doing it very carefully and neatly because I don't want to get it on the, the cap or the lace. So this is the back so far. Let's start with our frontal. As you guys can see, I painted the top of the frontal first because I really did not want to get any of the hair dye onto the lace. And then I just dip the rest of the hair inside of the water. And yeah, this is the result. I love, I'm loving the different colours of purple, different shades. As you guys can see, I done it super neatly. And there's barely any of the colour on the lace. And yeah, this is what it looks like when it's wet. So I'm just letting the colour just sit inside of the hair. I haven't washed it out yet. The hair did shed a little bit as I was doing it, but a lot of blonde hair does, and it didn't shed as much as I thought it would. So the quality of the hair is still really, really good. And it took the hair dye really, really well. Oh, let me tell you guys a secret. So what I do here, which is very, very weird, is that I put fabric softener in my hair instead of conditioner. So this is the hair after I've put fabric softener in it. 
and as you can see when I compare it to the other side of the hair the hair with fabric softener just looks so much softer so yeah definitely do that and this is the final look oh my gosh I then got my hair installed by the frontal lab you guys should check out her profile because she plucked this hair customized this frontal and it just looks incredible and amazing and her prices are very very affordable this is just wow i can't believe it i can't believe this happened i can't believe it i can't believe it but yeah i'm so happy with the results so this is what it looks like indoors so many people have complimented me about my hair and just purple hair is a vibe it makes me look so cool i hope this helps you guys so much and I hope you enjoyed watching it. I'll see you guys soon with another video. Bye guys.